Today I'm on my way down to South Arkansas to meet up with a good friend of mine, uh, Matt from 731 Woodworks. Uh, he invited me down to help him work on a special project. Eight and a half hour drive, here we go. All right, I brought in an expert to help me on CNC to be able to finish up this mallet uh, display stand because we want to put some engravings in there. We're gonna embed some really cool stuff in there. And I think we can design this up in, and we're gonna use Carbide Create to do this and uh, add some text. I think it's gonna be a really neat project. Let's get after it. Let's do this first, start here. Um, so 12 and a quarter by 20. So let's make our stock size. All right, so now we've got our stock size. So our stock size represents uh, what we're gonna be cutting from. So the next thing we'll do is, is create a rectangle. So now we've got our rectangle here, which just to double check, we're gonna make this nine by 16, I believe. Yeah, nine by 16. All right, so we might have to mess with this a little bit, but, cause this just chamfers our corners mm -hmm. to get what we want but let's just see what happens here. Might have to come out, see, see how it- mm -hmm. it's, it's rounded all the way around. It's rounded. So you can get this to meet in the middle. I just don't know if we want this to look a little- Yeah, it, I think the side, I think it's starting the curve too far back. So- Cause you want it to look like a dog tag. So right. the further out. All right, so it doesn't look like drawing it ourselves is going to work. So. Let's try something else. Image trace. That's a new part of the update too, isn't it? It is. Image trace is a game changer. Mm -hmm. You can upload anything on the internet and image trace it. Now, some of it, you might have to zoom in a little bit. Mm -hmm. See, like this one's a little wonky. You yeah. can mess with this threshold and it gets worse and better. Sure, there's a, there's a better, there's a better one, one, I'm sure. That one, that one looks better. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go with this one. So we'll go trace image. Right here is the ungroup. So now these things are all individual. Mm -hmm. Delete this X. It kind of looks a little wonky, doesn't it? Yeah, we can put another circle there. We'll put another circle in there. Delete. But this looks, the outside looks good. Mm -hmm. So now we've got our shape. Mm -hmm. And now we can scale it um, to what we said our dimensions were here, which was uh, 16, by, 16 nine. by nine. So yeah, I'm thinking have the the number of killed and then, you know, the other side of the coin, I'll make sure to put it on this side of the mallet so that the soldiers and the, the logo shows there. We probably want to go a tad bigger. Yeah, a little bigger is not gonna matter because I'm gonna, gonna fill matter. it. So our radius of one inch, will give us our coin diameter here. When you want to do the text next, just the way this. Yeah, let's throw the text on there so we can kind of get a feel for where it's where it's going to be. Okay, so it looks like half inch is all that's going to fit on, or just above, right? So I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, I would move it up a little, because I think the edges will have like an eighth inch round over on them. <laughs> Not that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the CNC would be like, "What are you trying to carve?" No, that's not bad. It's the military style. I like that. You like actually. that? But I don't know how it would carve. Um, I think it would carve fine. You can go fix in and kind of fix that. You said a V bit. So would this work one, better um, for the radiuses. Yeah, for the for the text. That way you can get into these corners. Mm -hmm. um, you can actually make a 90 degree angle. Because if it's, you just use a um, straight bit, you're yeah. only going to be able to get as tight as the ra as the radius so of that bit. Eighth inch is the smallest I got. Exactly. Um, so yeah, I would V. I would do an advanced V carve, which we can set that all up here in a second. Okay, so size. Yeah, we need, that needs to be bigger, I think. So, looks like we can go bigger. Probably get maybe three quarter on that one. It may be too much. Mm -hmm. Take those periods out, I think that would help. I don't, for some reason that looks off when you put a period in there, do you think? I think, I agree. Look good? I don't know though. It's kind of all gave some, some. Yeah. Can we stack them yep. toward the bottom? Like right here, you got all gave some, some gave all like right here. I want. I want those letters right here before the mallet and not behind it because when the mallet's laying on there, then the, in my mind, especially if it's an elevated surface, they'll never see all gave some. Uh, another thing I like to use is the grid. 
You can set your grid size. Oh yeah, this is in the uh, settings. Let's just set it to an inch right now because you can always change this. Mm -hmm. And then you can actually see. Let's center everything here. Boom. All right, now that we have everything in its place and the size that we want it to be, let's go ahead and click group letter vectors and then convert to curves. And then we're gonna go in and do a Boolean union. What that's gonna do is it makes all these lines one piece, especially the A's. As you can see before they were, had uh, the middle part had like an overlap uh, line and what it does is it trims everything and makes it a nice clean letter. So the tool pass should be fairly simple. I mean, other than it should basically be. pockets and yes. carbon. So let's go back here and ungroup. All the bits that we're using for this project are from Bits and Bits. I'll leave their information below if you want to pick one up for yourself. These two are going to be the same. Same bit. Right. Um, we're going to pocket those. The thing is, is are they going to be the same depth? Uh, no. So they won't be the same. Because you see the, well, they might. We'll see. So that coin's about 0.14. And then we want to cover it with clear epoxy by a little bit anyway. Okay. So probably shouldn't pour. I would want to keep it fairly thin because you don't want them too thick. You think, think? Yeah. I'm thinking maybe a quarter inch yeah. in depth. Yeah. At max. This hole right here for the coin is going to be a quarter inch pocket. This one you want to go a little bit less pocket, quarter inch still. Uh, like point two oh maybe. This is a, this is yeah, a this thin. is a tiny bit thinner than yeah. the coin. Yeah. But my only concern with this is at two oh, is these little fuzzies sticking up. Surely the epoxy will push that down, right? Quarter. This is the flag pocket. All right. For the text, we're going to do an advanced V carve with a sixty degree V bit. Now, the cool thing about an advanced V carve is you can set the max depth that it goes to. We're gonna set our max depth to a half inch. The last toolpath we need to set up is the contour toolpath, which will cut out, cut all the way through our stock. And we're gonna do that with a quarter inch bit. One last thing to do before we run our test, uh, we need to make sure that these toolpaths are in the correct order. Um, so we can limit our tool changes and be as efficient as possible. So we're actually gonna do our text first, do our 60 degree V bit. And then since we're doing everything else with a quarter inch bit, we'll have one tool change to a quarter inch bit and we'll be able to do all the other tool paths with that one bit. We nailed this design and toolpath setup, so no changes were needed for the final cut. I had to hit the road, but Matt finished his project up and did a stellar job. To see this entire build from start to finish, be sure to go over to 731 Woodworks YouTube channel. Matt has a full build video up on his channel. I'll leave a link in the description that'll take you directly to that video. What makes this build so special is it's for a Vietnam veteran named Michael. I won't ruin the whole story here, but be sure to go over and check out the full build video on Matt's channel, 731 Woodworks, and he shares the entire story there. What an honor it was to be a part of this project. So thank you, Matt, for inviting me down uh, to help you with it. And, but most of all, thank you, Michael, for your service and every other Vietnam veteran out there, thank you. If you like this video, be sure to hit that subscribe and like button so you don't miss my upcoming content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.